Hey YouTube, Maximum Photoshop's back with another tutorial for you guys. Today, I'll be showing you a simple technique on how to create a regular but nice looking reflection. Let's get right to it. So, as you can see, this is the reflection that we're going to be making. It looks appealing to the eye and is very simple to make. Let's get started. We're first going to want to create a new composition or new file with 72 resolution, 1500 pixel width, and 1000 pixel height, and regular RGB 8-bit color, and a background contents of white. Hit OK. Next, the first thing we're going to do is create a new layer and go to the gradient tool. I have a preset gradient for this, but I'll let you copy the colors. The first color is a pure white. F, 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 F. And then it's going to be a light gray at the end of the bar. C1, C1, C1. Then once you have that gradient down, click OK. So on this new layer, we're going to click at the top, scroll down, and hold Shift. As you can see, shift makes it straight, no matter where your mouse goes. So, let go, and this gradient's okay, but we don't want our text up here. So we're going to start off somewhere around a little above midpoint for the gradient. That seems just about right. So, next we're going to take this and just decrease the opacity to about 80% and make a new layer. At this point, you're going to want to decide what to, do you want to make a reflection for. Do you want to make it a text? Do you want to make it whatever you want? You put it right where you start seeing the gray. In this case, I'm going to make a text. Okay, so we have that down. If it's a text, there's no need to rasterize the layer. So, once you're done, you're going to make a new layer, and you're going to select this gray, 76, 76, 76, as your foreground color. Hit OK. So next, you're going to take the brush tool. You're going to make the brush size 8 pixels, and you're going to zoom in right under your object. You're going to place it a little further from where your object starts. And click and hold shift. Same thing with the gradient. If you hold shift, Photoshop will automatically make a straight line with this. And won't let it go anywhere. It's okay if you go a little too far. You can take the eraser tool. And erase the part that you went too far on. Next, you're going to want to select the Blur tool. Select it to Normal, Strength 100%, and for this tutorial, I'm going to make the brush size 200 pixels. Next, you're going to start brushing on this, just to make it a little blurry and feathered. As you can see, it's starting to get a little blurry, and that's good. That's what we want. Next, you're going to make the opacity down to about 80% as well. And that looks about right. Lastly, for this tutorial, we're going to make a copy of the text layer or whatever layer that you want to make a reflection for. Copy it up and drag it right below the layer. Make sure it's all aligned or else this technique will not work. Perfect. So, now what you want to do is go to Edit free transform, right click it, and press flip vertical. Great. Now, we're going to select the layer opacity to about 45%, and we're going to need to rasterize the layer of its text layer. So, now what we're going to do to make that fading reflection effect is click this button right here, add a vector mask, 
it should say you're creating a layer mask right here. So next you're going to take your gradient tool and make sure the gradient tool is set to black and white. Now you're going to click and select the mask and you're going to play around with the gradient tool until you like what you see. At this point I think this looks quite good. That is basically it YouTube. A quick and simple way on how to create a nice looking reflection in Photoshop. If you need any photoshopping or design done, please visit d2design.co. The link will be in the description. Once again, thank you YouTube. Watch some other videos and subscribe. See you next time.